Hello guys, what's going on? Yorkie here and welcome back to another episode of this Barcelona career mode here on the channel. And today we've got some massive games. We're going to find out who we get in the next round of the Champions League, which is pretty decent. If you didn't see last time out, absolutely battered Liverpool at Anfield. It was a great, great night for Mr. Ayazabal. He was unbelievable, but we've got some massive games in this one. I don't think I'm going to play the Liverpool game and I'm actually tempted not to play the Atletico Madrid game considering we beat them 8-0 last time out. And I would prefer to get in the other European game and maybe play Sevilla. But if the table is super close, then we will have to play this Atletico Madrid game uh, without a shadow of a doubt. Because, yeah, if the league table is as close as it is right now, Atletico Madrid, like, closed the gap just that little bit more in this brief period of time, then I will play that. But at this moment in time, the only real threat we have is Real Sociedad. Because Madrid is still miles behind us as well, 15 points. So the only real threat is Real Sociedad. Let's take on Betis to kick off the episode. They're seventh at the moment. And we struggled a little bit last time out against the smaller sides in the league. 4-4-2 undid me. We have a lot of injuries as well at the moment, which is a bit of a problem for us. A cause for concern, I guess, a, a little bit. We do have a lot of strength in depth. We do, if I'm being honest. Uh, we've got a decent amount of depth. But you can see the McKinney's out, the Bele's out, Kamara's out, Chelix out. Wijndal's just on his way back and Ansu Fati is out as well. So we are short of numbers. It is very helpful that the second leg against Liverpool isn't going to be all important. Was, of course, the transfer window in the last episode as well. So if you didn't see it, we signed Ferran Torres, of course. Barcelona picked him up in real life, so we signed him as well. And he's got off to a very good start here in this Barcelona sign. Iazabal also should be noted. He's the top goal scorer at the moment in the Champions League. He's genuinely such a good player. He is so good. I have tweaked the injury settings as well. I tweaked them in the last episode, but I've tweaked them even more now because I just want to put us in a decent position. I don't want us to be uh, struggling injury-wise. We're going to go pretty much full strength because we've got an easy game coming after this one. And I'm hoping I can get Wijndal in this team uh, as quickly as possible. We'll go Araujo and Mingueza actually in the back line. Ferrero up top. Yazabal should start. I'm still not sold on Yusuf Demir. Decent team though, Real Betis. They've got two Ram as well up top who could cause me a lot of problems. I don't think this will be easy. Also, if you are new around here and you haven't already smashed that subscribe button, please go and hit it. The channel is doing really well and this series is doing really well at the moment. So massively appreciate it. Uh, we're coming towards the end of this year as well. I'm going to do a little Yorkie recap, but we are coming towards the end of this year, the last few days. Uh, we're going to try and pump out as much content as possible. Operation, score lots of goals, is a goal. I, I want a really dominant performance. We've been bad in the league. The last episode, we had some really bad performances in the league, allowing teams to kind of start to catch us a little bit. I don't want that to be the case in this one today. I really want us to, I don't know, just make it easier so I can just focus on the Champions League, if we're being honest. Jesus Ferreira was making a little run there. I couldn't get it to him. He has a ball's touch. And just all-round play is is pretty mesmerising. Lewis Miller now. Ricky. That's not bad. Lainez. Ah, his touch wasn't good, was it? Victor Ruiz has done a good job, but he's going to lose out, is he? He does lose out. Lainez then will whip that one in to Jesus Ferreira. And again, I just can't cross, can I? Jesus Ferreira there. He has a ball. Oh, he's done brilliantly. Jesus, surely he's going to have that tucked home. Oh, my God. Rui Silva. Oh, my God. What a block as well. Ricky nearly bagging a goal, but... Oh, we've probably got to score that, haven't we? That is probably my moment to chip it. All I want to do this year before it ends is score a chip. And that was probably the moment. Is today the day that we get a chip? Maybe. Who knows? Not with passes like that, though, from Lionhead. Better free kick now. And I'm not great at defending at the moment. So I would like them not to get all the second balls today. What a block. Turan there firing off the shot. I can't get it away, and to be honest with you, this is a bit of a kick clash. It didn't look like it should be a kick clash, but they are both light, and I am blind. I'm struggling just a touch to see the difference between the two players at high speed, but we'll be all right. We'll get away with it. Lainez now, what can he do? X-Rail best player, actually. I forgot about that. Oh, I nearly went beyond him. We'll take the free kick, though. If he can do some damage. 85 rating now. This team has grown way quicker than i expected it to be 100 percent honest and this could be a really good ball in from serginio Dest, but it wasn't because the man i was trying to flick the ball into decided against that denise serginio we're playing decent football but i always feel like if i don't score the goals i'm gonna leave myself wide open this is another good ball out to Linez. what can he do now i just need better runners don't i i need better runners I've been saying that all season long. Serginio Dest trying to find a Yazabal. 
Maybe should have gone with the low driven there. Go on then, Linez. That's a lovely ball over against his old club. Linez still got it against his old club. I was going to say, if he was going to score from that angle, very, very lucky. But his touch, his touch was really poor there. It ended up bobbling up. Well, cut me open a little bit now. And again, the, the kick clash, I'm struggling with it. I hope you guys aren't. I promise you, I try and avoid every kick clash. I didn't expect the dark green and light blue to be a kick clash, if I'm being 100% honest with you. Yeah, if I was just about to thread that ball through, will be a free kick, though. It's much more of a clash than... It just doesn't look like it should be. It's irritating me that it is, because I'm struggling then to find these really smart passes. This man, are all going close. The the real, like, neat, tiki-taka kind of passes. I'm struggling because I don't know if it's my player or not. Going to the second half here, then needing goals. Would nil-nil be a terrible result against seventh place? No. And with the kick clash as well, wouldn't absolutely be horrendous, but it's not the scoreline I wanted. Jesus Ferreira. To play that out wide, and then I'm going to try and drive it forward. I will find a Yazabal, but a Yazabal will have absolutely no one to play that to. And that's been a common frustration for me this season, hasn't it? Oh, I want that foul, really, don't I? Do I not? No. We're making a ball in, and Linus won't get to it. I got no height there when Dembele is not on the pitch. Alba's done really well running down the line there, and then he's played in a horrendous ball. I, I don't know how to cross, and it makes me cross that I don't know how to cross. It really does, because I don't understand why I, I just cross a ball in and it goes nowhere near like where... Oh, that was nearly a bad pass. Dangerous choice of ball there. But it goes nowhere near any of my players. And I find it really weird that that keeps happening to me. Well, then Hussman. Hussman, I ought. Hussman, I ought. That would have won us the game, surely. Jesus Ferreira there is going to just think that one over to Nico Gonzalez. Nico played it across to Ferran Torres. Wasn't the ideal ball to him, Torres. Managed to get a shot off, but the ball in from Nico was poor, if we're being honest. It was a really bad ball in, and I just expected a bit more from him. Ferran Torres now, though. Oh, he had to find that pass, and he? he does find it in the end. Ricky. Oh, this is nice play. This is really nice play. Ricky Puig will fire off the shot. He's going to get it back, and Ferran Torres is offside. I think we should have got more out of that game, but considering the kick clash, I I'll take it. I can't believe... Th that is a kit clash. I genuinely can't. When we looked at the kits, I even checked them side by side. Did not look like it was going to be a kit clash. It might just be me and my eyes, but I really struggle with trying to pick out where my players were in that match. It did not help one bit whatsoever, but considering all the circumstances, I'll take a point. I don't think it hurts us too much. At the end of the day, it, it was an awful game of football, though. Let's be honest. It was a terrible match. Atletico Madrid did win, though. There's maybe some food for thought with that Atletico Madrid win, but still, I mean... We're pretty comfortable, and I think we'll pick up wins. I just really struggled. The way we play our football is quite ticky-tacker. Nice little neat intertwining passes, and I didn't know where the players were to play those passes in that match. Well, things just don't get any better, and I don't know if it's down to the injuries or whatnot, but our back end of the season run here has been horrendous. Ferran Torres opened the scoring here against Ibar, and then Romani, he scored both of them. And we were bad, though. We were bad in this game, obviously. We didn't create much. And it's becoming a bit of a common theme. Something to worry about at the moment because we are definitely letting teams catch us now in the league. Our end run here of form against teams that aren't even that good has been horrendous. That's three losses now in the season. And just, yeah, I'm just frustrated who we're losing to, man. Ibar are 19th in the league and they've just beaten Barcelona. We've got a transfer offer here for Usman Dembele, which is a bit weird that we've got it now, but we've said 150 million, so I will negotiate it. Because uh, we were 50-50, everyone was on the fence uh, with what we should do. Some people wanted to see him go, some people didn't. So that's exactly not what on the fence is. But anyway, 150 million and we will sell him, but that is the release cause now. And if they don't pay that, we ain't selling him because he's arguably one of our better players. I ain't even going to come up to that. I'm just going to reject it and walk away here from Chelsea. But I, I need to figure out our form at the moment. We need to do something to fix it. Two bad games in a row and Espanyol now, the derby game. We're going to actually play this. I'm going to make sure it's not a kick clash because I already know that that probably will be. It shouldn't be, but it will be. So we're going to go in the home kit. This will be the starting 11 here and it's 4-4-2 and we already know that I struggle against 4-4-2, but we have brought back Wijndal in for this game. So I'm really excited to see how he does. Remember, we've got Liverpool a couple of days after this, but 
We do have a four goal advantage in that game. I'm not going to be too stressed. I will be simming it. So I think if it gets to a close game, well, we'll jump in. No doubt about it, though. We need to bounce back. We need to bounce back with some form. These past couple of days, I've been playing really bad at FIFA. I don't know what's up with me. Maybe I have a problem. Maybe I am just getting rubbish. Maybe I'm getting old, but my gameplay has not been great recently in terms of my performances. Although then look at that Liverpool game. We absolutely battered Liverpool. Hopefully we can get back at it. If not, I'm going to take a look at this tactic because I'm getting a little bit uh, frustrated in areas. Of course, we do try and do like the tiki taka slow build up, nice passing play. But I'm starting to find myself getting a little bit frustrated in positions where teams are sitting super deep, which is, you know, what you expect. Uh, but we're not finding the correct passes into the box. My defending as well recently, I have to admit, has been poor. And I, I don't know why. I don't know why. I'm usually fairly decent. That's a great ball out to Linez. Limez is going to get that one across. Oh, I thought I'd actually managed to get it across. Mavropanos did brilliantly there. Did he handball? He handballed it in a... Oh, this is a dangerous position. But I suck at these. Let's see what a Yazabal could do. Are we about to have a moment of glory? I'm going to tell you now. Probably not, but we'll see what happens. I will get it over, and it's saved. At least it wasn't over the bar. Oh, Fran Torres here. Genius play for him to pick that back up. Give it back across the line. Oh, I thought Ferran was going to keep his run going. We will actually end up getting Ferran back on the football. He's putting himself about in this game so far. You love to see it, but now we're in this position that I keep finding myself in where I don't have anyone to pass to until there. And Husaman Ayol will make it 1-0 Barcelona. And the tiki-taki football works. It's hard, you know, when you're not used to playing that way either. I'm used to just smash the counter, smash the counter, smash the counter. Playing this, like, tiki-taka style has been difficult. But with the better players, we have got better at it. And when it works, it's good. Look at the open man then, Husaman Ayol. Taps it in. Only his second goal for us as well since he joined. But, I mean, we didn't sign him to be a goal scorer. More of a facilitator and just a hard worker in the midfield. And he's definitely that. We won the ball back here nicely. And we can slowly start to make movement forward. My issue right now is how deep Ferran Torres is playing. I have a huge issue with that. We'll take a red maybe there. Take a red maybe there. Is he just going to get talking to? That's right. You pull him over. You call him over to you. Yeah, brandish a red. Red. All right, we'll take a yellow. The reds have seemed to calm down a little bit, to be fair. Do you remember, like, in a patch recently where there was a red every single game you would play? He was passing. I might need to work on that. I might need to work on his passing in the uh, training, uh, to be honest with you. I don't think it's good. At wow, Serginio Dest, they're doing brilliantly. Mila this time does fantastically. He has about weights and weights and weights. He's going to find Linez. And now I'm in a tricky position. Oh, no, I'm not Ricky. Oh, what a save from Sportiello. Love it when Ricky scores as well. It just fills me with joy. That's not a bad ball in, but it was a ball in to Luis Mila, who, again, is not very tall in the footballing world. Who's Man Ayor now? We'll take it. Curl it up corner. Oh, that would have been exciting for him to get another goal. Wijndal wins that back. He has a bell. Great footwork. Finds Fran Torres. Great touch from him. We'll find Linez. Oh, just slowed down a bit too much for me. For being, oh, Mila, what is that pass? I'm really going to have to work on his passing because it's a little bit embarrassing when we're trying to play tiki taka football and that's the pass he's playing. Ferran Torres now. Good footwork from Ferran Torres. Oh, my God. That was a nice goal. I'm not going to complain at the fact that we kind of got forced into signing Ferran Torres because it's not been a bad deal so far, has it? He's really hit the ground running. He's scored now, what, in his last four games for us. Um, you can keep that going, please. Love to do the double this year. Champions League, Premier League double for Torres again. Oh, he gets it out to a Yazabal as well. And he said his name wrong. We haven't done that yet in this episode. I'm going to try and keep it that way. That's a great ball back out to Husamani. Oh, we are peppering their goal at the moment. This is a performance I needed after the Ibar game and, uh, of course, the game to start the episode, Real Betis. Well, I went close earlier, so I don't see any reason why I wouldn't go for it again. If anyone wants to teach me how to take free kicks, let me know. I am very, very bad. Find Al's actually been really good to have back as well, to be honest with you. I'm really enjoying using him. He's had a good season for me. But I'd like more in the second half. I'd like to punish them. Ferran Torres having the game of a lifetime. Linez now pulls it back. Oh, that's lovely play. And then we'll get that across to Mila. Top corner. Oh, my God. That bounced off the crossbar. What a moment for Luis Mila. That would have been to get his first goal for the club. And that rattles the top of the bar. I know it's Derby Day, but I'm not going to be stupid here. He has a ball's going to come off for Yusuf to make. One, so I don't say his name wrongly. And two, because I really want him for the Liverpool match. He scored a hat-trick against them. Completely tore them apart. 
I want him in there for the second leg. Ricky will find Ferran. Ferran holds the ball up so well. It's just really nice to see Yusuf Demir now. Great footwork from Yusuf Demir. Bounced off Ferran Torres' knee. I thought he was going to get the shot off there. And now, I just don't want to let them break away. We've defended really well in this game so far. And I've kind of slotted back into not pushing for the ball too much. Although I did there and we've got away with it. I have been being much cleverer. That is... Oh, that was nearly a brilliant ball. Mavropanos... He's actually a very good defender. Come on now. Guerrero. Oh, that's a great ball into Ricky. Oh, I thought I got it through the legs. Linus will pick it up in the box, though. And they don't want to make a mistake in bringing him down. Ricky Puig then back to Lewis Miller again for the marvellous finish. He's not going to get it. Mavropanos has been really good for Espanyol today. Kind of kept a minute at times. So is the goalkeeper, Sportiello. That is a lovely ball over the top. Diamata. Well in Eric Garcia. I won't say that often. We'll bring off Houston Monoyor. They're going to bring on Ronnie Lopez and Nico Gonzalez will come on for us. And to be honest with you, I'll just happily hold them off now. Just don't let them score because they will get a little bit of like, oh my God. So Genio Dest is annoying me that. They will get a bit of a second wind if they score. Ronnie Lopez now. Tricky, tricky winger. So he's going to make life difficult. Okay. Back to Ronnie. Oh, this is good play. <laughs> wow. Might have just been one pass too many for them there. Got a little bit sticky in patches there, didn't it, towards the end. But it did allow us to bring some of our better players off as well to give them rest. A good victory. It's a derby game this as well. So Espanyol are always going to be up for it. But we needed to bounce back with a win in the league. Dominated possession, 12 shots as well. Absolutely nuts that we could put on a performance like that. But I did slow stuff down for once. In that, well, not for once, but I went back to our roots of slowing stuff down a little bit more, especially on the defensive end, instead of pressuring them to win the ball back. And it worked a lot better for us. We've got this Liverpool game now. Let's pick the team to take them on. But if I'm being honest with you, we're going to sim it. I will jump in if it looks like it's getting close, but I don't think there's there's any need to play it. With the lead we've got, it seems like it would be a bit of a wasted life come when we could get the other European game in. Do I start for Ferran Torres again? I think I'm going to start Ferreira for this one, actually. Still going pretty strong with the lineup. We just rotated a little bit, and Gavi is going to be given a huge opportunity. We give Nico Gonzalez a massive opportunity in the Anfield game. This time, it's going to be Gavi. No comeback for Liverpool this time. Even in the simulation, we battered them. Jesus Ferreira with a brace. Just showing us, letting us know, giving us a little bit of a nudge and an elbow to say, look, Gaffer, I am still here. I am still the top goal scorer in this squad. Don't be thinking that Ferran's coming in and taking my place. He has a ball as well with a goal again. The man is absolutely goated. Liverpool did score. We did also miss a penalty. I didn't notice that. We missed a penalty. Sadio Mane opened the scoring for Liverpool. They actually played really well. Just couldn't take their chances. But 8-2 on aggregate. There's still some decent teams that we could end up playing against. AC Milan there. Atletico Madrid, we could get. That would be perfect for me because I think we'll batter them. Bayern Munich knocked out Real Madrid. And then you've got Man City, PSG, Chelsea, Slavia, Prague would be decent. But it looks like they're going to go out. Dortmund, uh, Man U. There's a few teams that we haven't played in a while. I tend to always get similar uh, teams in this competition. Man City, Bayern Munich. Uh, Liverpool's one I've not played before in it, though. That was good fun. Atletico Madrid are uh, third and right behind us. And it's just making me think maybe we do do this as the live come. And then we'll kick off the next episode with Sevilla uh, and get continued into the Champions League. Uh, we'll see. If I start scoring lots of goals, because it's just the formation they play. If I start scoring lots of goals, what we'll do is we'll quick sim to the end. Was there another injury there? Oh, player returning from injury. Osman, Dembele, let's go, lads. But yeah, if we start getting a bit of a head of steam, like too much, uh, then we will go into the simulation. But let's give let's give them the opportunity to kind of get some revenge. Obviously, I'm hoping they don't get revenge, uh, but we'll give them the opportunity. I am struggling for a reason why I don't start Jesus Ferreira in this one. So, Ferran Torres will start out wide. Jesus Ferreira's just been so goated for me. I can't... I'd feel wrong to drop him. Wijndal's going to come in. Gavi obviously won't be in the team today. Let's bring on Husum and Ayor. Uh, Nico Gonzalez for Ricky. And that's going to be the starting 11. Nice to get some players back. That's the 11 for Atletico Madrid. Griezmann, Felix, Carrasco, Herrera, Depaul. Like, it's a good team. We know it's a good team. The problem is, is they play a funky formation that gives my wingers a lot of space. Now, Usman absolutely... Ripped them a new one last time we played. I went down that right-hand side every single time. That might not be the case because he's not on the pitch for this one. Let's see how Ferran Torres does. I'm not expecting to just dominate them from the off. I just think if we can score a couple of early goals, then that's when this really starts to fall apart from them. W doing well there. They will want revenge, though. And look at... We've battered Man City before, aren't we? 
And then they've come back. And a win for Atletico Madrid here. Although I don't think it definitely puts me in the title. I need to stop headhunting there. Definitely puts them in the title race or back in it. It does put them in a much... Oh, come on, ref. All right, nothing for that. It does put them in a much better position. And they're putting me under a lot of pressure here early on. Got to be there into Griezmann. Oh, I want him to score. If anyone scores, I hope it's not him. But let's just slow stuff down a little bit. Atletico Madrid have started this very feistily. And we're going to give the ball away there because I was too busy reading up top. I'd rather take Griezmann out than let him go through, to be honest. Were you at the moment? I would rather take Griezmann out than let him go through. And I just want to be compact here. Uh, not give them too many wider looks. Opportunities like that. Lorente. Who in the football back with Carnage. Al Felix will get it over. He didn't get to it, but Carrasco. Terrible volley. They started brightly. I'll give them that. They've started really brightly. We've barely had any possession so far. This is where we might start getting a bit dangerous. Serginio Desna. Look at that. They're doubling up down that side. I wonder if that's got Ricky. That's two midfielders now that have just dawdled on the football. Who's somebody or... And I'll add Ricky. They can't keep doing that. I think Atletico Madrid are going to defend a lot better in this match. To be honest with you, watching how they're performing already here. Ricky. One then for Ann. It's the wrong ball in. But it's already feeling like they're going to pose a bit of a different threat. But if Jesus Ferreira gets that ball through to a Yazabal, it's a different game. It's 1-0. You know it's 1-0 when that man goes clean through. Oh, come on, Jesus. You've been gifted the opportunity because of the goals you scored against Liverpool in this one today. He's going to get a chance again now out to Ferran Torres. What can Ferran Torres do? Is It's not Romagnoli today, is it? It's Hermoso. So it was Romagnoli that we gave an absolute nightmare last time. It does feel at the moment as if they've learnt from the last time we played them. That was better for... Oh, that was better to get the ball to a Yazabal from Ferreira. That maybe should have been 1-0. Right, I was still... Still in with a chance. Still in with an opportunity. Not with corners like that, though. <laughs> Not with corners like that. They've lasted far longer, which is making me just a little bit nervous because the longer they last, the more they'll be in the game and the momentum might swing their way. And they're getting a bit of luck here. Well, not a bit of luck, just great play. We'll block off Laurent A. Wyndale, and that will not be a foul. Yazabal now. Making that run. Making that run. Oh, no, Yazabal. Keep making that run, mate. He made the run perfectly. He's not selfish. And there we go. Fran Torres actually scuffed that a little bit. But there we go. Finally, we cut open that terrible back line. Took long enough, but Jesus Ferreira's ball in behind was perfect. And he has a ball unselfishly. Gives it to Fran Torres. Well, can we go on now and score a few more? I mean, I've been really impressed with how they're, well, they're already getting a bit shaky, aren't they? They're remembering now what happened last time. And not in a good way. They're not remembering it to use against us. Oh, that might be a good ball in to Mila. Oh, it's well saved. Mate, again, I should have probably gone for the chip there and scored my first chip, but I didn't. I know someone in the comments right now will be raging at the fact that I did not try and chip that. Let's start one back in. Ferran. Ricky. Luis Mila. Oh, what a save from Oblak. you got to do better than that to beat Oblak. He's too good, isn't he? Well, a very different end to the first half than the last time we played against them. But I still believe one more goal and these gaps will start to open up even more. They looked a little bit nervy, didn't they, after we finally scored? It's a Herrera now. I just think that one over to João Felix. And it's it's not a bad ball, actually. That's a Hector Herrera. That's decent play for Wijnaldum, though, isn't it? And now this is where they could be in trouble. Jesus Ferreira. Great little bit of play. If he times it right, he does. He has a ball now. He has a ball now still. He has a ball. Oh, played it across to absolutely nobody. It rolled along the line. I feel for him. Ferran just needed to get there that little bit quicker. And we'd have found ourselves with a goal there. Jesus Ferreira. Never mind. Ferran will pick that up, won't he? Oh, he's been fouled, but he'll take it on the chin. That's not the pass I wanted. I wanted a reverse pass there to who's the man I ought. I didn't get it, and I'm maybe slowly staring down the end of a barrel here at uh, worry. Because as this goes on and on and on, and you know already that moments like that will happen. And Atletico Madrid are not out of this one. I don't want to make too many subs yet. I don't want to make too many early subs. I don't think we need to do that yet. I think we've still got more than enough to win this game. I just want us to get another goal. That's been given as a handball, which is it's down by his side. Absolutely down by his side. Ricky Puig, what are we doing there, mate? We standing off. We having a joke. We having a laugh. Yannick Carrasco now. Foul them. Not in the box, though. Oh, we get a bit lucky. We get a bit lucky. I got that wide there. This is actually really good play. Fran Torres lifts it over. Oh, Yazabal was in there. 
I thought he was going to score. Oh, Griezmann wouldn't let me change. Lorente surely will score. And I'm just devastated that he wouldn't let me change to the most obvious player in the world to change to. Oh, that's infuriating. They, I know, I'm not sure they deserve it, to be honest. But I said, well, it was only 1-0. But I'm trying so hard to change to Eric Garcia there. And he doesn't let me, like... He's the obvious defender to close down in this situation. So annoying is the change. Again, I will say in this episode, FIFA, please fix that for the next game. Because I know you ain't going to fix it this game, but please fix it for the next game. Like, it's ridiculous. You should change to the covering defender, not someone who stood behind him. Now, let's see if we can open them back up here. Yeah, let's see if we can just open them back up a little bit. Fran Torres now going out wide. I, I need more bodies forward than this, lads. Who's my yours? Pass. I need more bodies forward if we're going to ticky tapper, uh, and we need to be careful here because they might go through and take um, score the winner. Oh, Felix now. It's a good run from him. This would be devastating if they were to score again. Now is there a breakaway? We're at the very end of the game. I haven't had a chance to make a substitution. This is a huge moment in the title chase this season. Yazabal won't be passing it on this time. He will be going in and scoring it, and we will beat Atletico Madrid. I didn't manage to make any subs yet, but I do not care. That is a huge win. It will basically put Atletico Madrid out of the title race, and that might be one of the key moments in order for us to win La Liga this season. We've got the subs done in the end, but it doesn't matter. The full-time whistle should be blown any second now, and we should be celebrating a victory. How long are they adding on? Just the one minute. Blow it up, ref. Atletico Madrid might have thought they've stolen a point late on in the game and even tried to push on for the winner. It hasn't worked out for them. This Barcelona team have dug in again. Obviously, some of that world-class talent we've got. Ayazabal, is a, he's a game-changer. So I think someone said it in the comments as well. He is a game-changer and he has saved us again. Another transfer offer for Dembele. It's Atletico Madrid. And I'm going to reject it because I, I already know they're not going to pay 150. They've come in with the exact same offer as Chelsea, so... Until we get to the 150 mark, he's not going. To be honest with you, I don't think anyone will pay that. So we'll probably end up staying. We should now have the Champions League draw. We do. We got ourselves AC Milan in the Champions League. And I'm actually really excited to take on AC Milan. That should be a really fun game. Can we take a cheeky look at the AC Milan squad? I don't think I can look at it as in how they're performing. Now, if I go to team stats, can I base it on the Champions League? I can. So we can look at AC Milan, at least in this respect. Where am I going? Where are they? They're just under Milan. Yeah, they are just under Milan. So this is the team they've currently got. Don't look at the appearances or goals or anything. It's... It's not true to form because this is their appearances in the Champions League. The least allows us to look at the squad. What's weird about this is I've got it sorted to goalkeeper. And after goalkeeper, of course, should come striker. Manningham's still there. They've still got Olivier Giroud, who should be getting on a little bit now. They've signed Kramaric and Veghurst, so uh, a few dangers up top there, but not really impressive when you look that Veghurst has got two goals in the competition so far, uh, and Kramaric won, so I'm not too worried. They've got far too many right-wingers, haven't they? Salamakas, though, still there. Castillejo, still there, so uh, we'll see. Wow, man, how... What? <laughs> Why? The team's just hoard certain players. They've got so many right wingers here uh, in the team. Rabich with three goals. Liao doesn't look like he's he's playing too much for them in Europe because uh, Jens Peter Hage has got seven appearances as well. It's a decent team. It's not that much of a change side. Am I worried? No, not really. I, to be honest with you, I think this is a much easier uh, tie than playing against Liverpool. So we should probably secure ourselves a place in what will be what the semi-finals after this is this quarterfinals yeah this is the quarterfinal so you can see as well still some big teams left in there Bayern Munich will play Manchester United PSG Atletico Madrid uh, Monaco Chelsea so still potentially some huge games left for us to play uh, to make it even to the final I'm not going to like sleep on Milan or anything I just think when I look at their squad it's not as good as that Liverpool team so it does kind of give us a bit of an easier go but we're not in great form at the moment and some of our stars are having to save us but that's going to be it for this episode guys I hope you all enjoyed it thank you very much for your continued support on this series you're absolutely smashing it at the moment the feedback the comments everything man I always appreciate that make sure to smash the like button and again if you're new around here and you haven't hit subscribe already make sure to do that as well